So whenever we have the dilemma, we would like to assess these few things, whether there is a Coca-Cola colored urine that is present, again, there is insensitivity of PSGN. So now we have a ambiguity whether we don't know whether there is sometimes uh, few cases or 10 to 20 percent of cases will not be apparent it will not be a clear-cut nephrotic picture it will not be a clear-cut nephrotic picture there will be a mixture of things so whenever we have the dilemma we would like to assess these few things whether there is a coca-cola colored urine that is present again there is insensitivity of psgn one more than one plus protein or if this is present in the urine again signifies glomerular proteinuria or more than 30 milligram present presence of rbc casts the rbc casts that are present are again pathognomonic of glomerular disease or the clinical picture which are suggestive of acute nephritic syndrome if any of those things are present what we are looking at here is glomerular component is the glomerular cause of hematuria so what are the evaluation that we would do in as a part of glomerular disease we like to look at the cbc with the differential count we'll look at the electrolytes bun creat and if you're looking at nephrotic syndrome as the dominant presentation we would again like to look for triglycerides uh, total cholesterol is something that we are looking at that is the lipids we are looking at again we would be looking at uh, liver function test especially the albumin that we are looking at so these are the few things that we'll be looking at when we are thinking about nephrotic sort of a picture in the glomerular diseases when we're thinking of nephrotic picture that we are thinking about we would like to keep or in the even the presentation contains significant of rbc's that we are thinking of definitely we should rule out complement related disorders that is c3 and c4 should be done again psgn may not always be apparent by the history so never rule out psgn without doing this set of investigation that is aslo anti-streptozyme test so which is the most important investigation among these things is probably anti-dns b is the thing that would like to do which is more specific again in mcq has been asked previously that a clinical scenario has been provided sensitive of psgn and you have been asked to choose which is the most specific investigation and anti-dns b is the answer if streptozyme panel is given then again that can be an answer so anti-dns b and anti uh, streptozyme test or streptozyme panel is one of the important things ANA, of course, should always be in the differential because lupus can be a big masquerader. And if not, last but not the least, uh, uh, quantification of the amount of protein area, if it is more than 1 plus, it is urine protein creatine ratio, it's something that we are looking at here. So again, glomerular causes, we are again trying to differentiate whether it's a nephrotic picture or the nephrotic picture. If you have a dominant nephrotic picture, like to go for the lipid profile, albumin, and protein credit ratio for the quantification of proteinuria here if we are looking at nephritic type of presentation definitely we should like to rule out psgn by doing a complement level c3 c4 and the through variety of other differentials that can be assessed which can be ruled out or it can be uh, formulated into uh, what is the cause of hematuria again we'd like to do uh, anti-streptozyme test aslo is one of the things ana should always be in the panel and last but not least the throat or skin culture if indicated so when we do not have any of this set of scenario that is the glomerular compartment is not there we are thinking about out we're thinking that we are extra glomerular cause of hematuria we've already discussed this i'd like to just again emphasize on this urine culture is the most important investigation because uti still remains the most common cause between bacterial or viral urinary tract infection. Again, if we have, the, the cause is not apparent after ruling out trauma, after ruling out perennial irritation or meatal stenosis of one of the common causes, we would like to go for trauma and the stones have been already been ruled out. Calcium creatine ratio becomes very important here, urinary calcium creatine ratio. If we are talking about anemia and uh, African population, sickle cell preparation can be one of the things. By now, I think a renal or ultrasound KOB would already been done. So the step one would be culture. The step two would be the second set of investigations that is the calcium creatine ratio, ultrasound of the kidneys and sickle cell preparation that is the hemoglobin electrophoresis something that we would be looking at. In the third step, they would be looking out the the more rarer causes that we are still thinking about that is the urine analysis that is the urine analysis of the siblings and parents again the cause which have been already been discussed and other set of investigations which will help you establish the cause that is electrolytes creatinine calcium and 24 hour if we are thinking about stones as one of the causes then again evaluation of the stone will lead to 24 hour urine 
calcium, creatinine, oxalate and uric acid as one of the important causes or in the set of evaluation. And last but not the least, if there was a presence of any flank mass or abdominal mass and the ultrasound was suggestive of any hydronephrosis or any of urine, uh, obstructive, obstructive nephropathy or obstructive uropathy as the causes of hematuria, definitely a cystogram or a renal scan should be done.